Hi! In the previous video, we demonstrated how you can install Thingsbird image using the container. Check it out! And in this video, we will show you how to use it for GPS asset tracking. This guide also has a corresponding written guide, so make sure to read it as well. We already have a Thingsbird server up and running within the CHR, and we also have a company delivery truck that we would like to equip with the GPS receiver. Let's say... LTAP Mini. The end goal is to monitor vehicle location in real time, but how can we achieve that? Pretty easy to be honest. We would want to test this scenario within our local network first. To do that, you can connect LTAP via its Ethernet port to the CHR's network, or you can also connect it via the Wi Fi client station mode or VPN. The example will showcase local API addresses and non SSL and QTT communication between the asset and the server. The written guide will have additional information on how to use SSL MQTT. Using non-SSL MQTT for production environment is a bad idea. Use SSL. If you watched part 1, you should know how to create a device on a server and how to generate an access token. Do that and name the device, for example, LTOP. The LTOP itself can be configured in three quick steps, but before we follow them, we need to confirm that our device is actually receiving GPS coordinates. You can do that by navigating to the System GPS section using Winbox or Webfig, or with the help of the command that is shown on the screen. System GPS Monitor once. After you confirm that you get latitude and longitude coordinates, we can continue. The first step is to add a new MQTT broker, where you should indicate the access token and the IP address of the Thingsbird server. The second step is to import the script from our guide. Run the script manually a couple of times using the command system script run name of the script and confirm that the coordinates are published in the Thingsbird GUI under the latest telemetry section. The last step is to add a scheduler to the script so that TrueTRS does it periodically by itself, for example, every 30 seconds. With that, we have automated coordinates upload. But we are not interested in just numbers, we want to see map visualization. In order to display the data on the map, in the Thingsbird GUI, under the latest telemetry section, checkbox Latitude and Longitude entries and click on the Show on Widget button. Select a bundle called Maps, click on the Add to Dashboard button and create a new dashboard for the widget. Run the script once again from the rootRS command line and go to the dashboard that you've just created. That's it, you're tracking your LTAP. After we implement SSL MQTT, set up LTA connection for the LTAP, install the LTAP into our vehicle and make sure that the server's MQTT ports are accessible by the LTAP, we will have a GPS asset tracking solution ready for production. Stay tuned for the next video and thank you for watching.